Okay, mission accomplished. Uh, current draw is lower. Back to, I don't know, looks like 5 milliamps or something like that. Uh, speed, you can hear, revs are up higher. So that's the highest I've had it running so far. You can see it's rising and dropping, and rising. Seems to be running quite smoothly. Um, current draw I've been farting about with it. The motor hasn't actually stopped, it slowed down significantly and then started up again. So you can see there we're back at sort of our starting voltage. So I might just reset the timer. But the battery hasn't actually rested. The battery's been sort of uh, under load the whole time, albeit at some rather slow revs over the last few minutes that I've been messing about with this. So, uh, we'll let it run it for a while again, see what happens. I've repositioned a magnet over here, at the end of that reed switch, and I've taken the magnet that was underneath the table, and I've replaced it with a tiny one, and you can see the distance from the reed there. And I've positioned that, messed about with the optimal distance from the reed switch, and that seems to work pretty well. So just a final reading on our RPMs. Yeah, we're nearly at 5600. And it's rising. I really need to glue all of this down so it doesn't move. But when you get it in the sweet spot, you can get incredible revs and very low current draw. And we'll just check the battery, probably hasn't changed since I last looked at it. Yeah, it looks about the same, just sitting on 12 volts. And remember, this is an old car battery that wouldn't start my car anymore. It would be a new battery. There you go. Incredible little uh, circuit. But this is the best I've ever had it running with that rodent coil. There you go.